All right, back with the uh, 2018 Double X. Did a few rides with the new uh, hodgepodge rear sway bar link. You can hear it ain't making noise anymore. But when I drop into dips and really bumping it around, I'm getting kind of a new knock that I think may be the front sway bar again, which you can see from the skinny, skinny sway bar, it did get replaced. And it went quiet, but it's weird because uh, the original problem, when I rode it, somebody else drove it, they weren't convinced there was a front sway bar. It almost sounds like it's coming from under your ass. But grab this thing. You can see it. Uh, well, it does it a little more on the other side. Let's go around. You know, they took the tabs, set tabs off these, and made the bar much skinnier so it flexes. But the, the, uh, the linkage... Is the same, uh, same design as the the rear, but sloppier and looser. But you can see because the tabs aren't there, you still got that movement. And I did drive this thing for about a month without them, and it certainly does articulate better and handle the D-shaped canyons and rock crawling and all that. But when you start barreling down fire roads and trails and whatnot at 50 you're over and you whip into a whip into a fast turn that front roll takes away that confidence that these uh these buggies are kind of legendary for and they handle the corner so damn well but i'm gonna i'm gonna unhook these go take it for a ride down the street where it gets kind of bumpy and see if it goes away i'll be right back the uh, front linkage was definitely a major clunk. Dang thing about these side-by-sides is you get rid of one clunk and you expose another one that the other one was drowning out. Anyhow, let's uh, go for a little spin here. I'll see if I can show you what's up here one-handed. This is a nice little whooped-out section and where I was hearing it yesterday. Co-pilot Roger Dodger, ready to go. I removed one link and strapped up the other. And I think I might still be here in the sway bar, either moving side to side or up and down, banging again things, but it's definitely the main clunk that I was after was definitely deleted by that. And it's been about, geez, I don't know, eight, eight months or so, I'm guessing, since I replaced the, the front sway bar with a 19. And I kind of forgot how well this thing handles without it. I went up a little canyon here, and you definitely get more articulation. So I'm going to take the whole sway bar off for a while and see if there's any other fixes that come out or possibly get um, some kind of a two-piece clamp to uh, do what the, the tabs did on the other one and keep the sway bar from moving side to side. And they can be mounted inside or outside of the the bracket, the bushing bracket, but uh, it's not going to be an easy piece to find here locally. Alright, ride some more with me. 